everyone and welcome to Biology Professor. Today we're going to be talking about elements versus compounds. So how they are different. Elements versus compounds are two different ways to classify matter. So the things that make up the world around us. If you're interested in learning more about classification of matter, including pure substances versus mixtures, see my video titled Classification of Matter. But now let's get to talking about elements. Elements are something I'm sure you're familiar with because you've probably seen the periodic table of elements. An element is defined as a substance that is composed of only one type of atom. So elements are substances that cannot be broken down into simpler substances through natural means. So this is really as simple as matter gets. Now let's look at some examples of elements. Basically anything you've seen on the periodic table. Sodium, copper, argon, these are examples of elements. Sometimes elements exist bonded to other atoms. For example, hydrogen and oxygen are found in what are called diatomic forms, as are many other gases. So this is when there are two hydrogen atoms bonded together, or two oxygen atoms bonded together, but because they're the same type of atom, we still call these the elemental forms of these particular substances. Now, if you are interested in learning about trace elements in more detail, you can see my video called Trace Elements. But now let's get to talking about compounds. A compound is a substance that is composed of two or more elements. So two or more elements, so two or more of these guys, and particularly in a fixed ratio. Now what does that mean in a fixed ratio? It means that if we look at examples of compounds, every single compound of methane, CH4, has one carbon and four hydrogens. So there's two different elements there making it a compound and you have the same number of carbons and hydrogens in every methane molecule. And that's what we mean by in a fixed ratio. Again, something like carbon dioxide, it's always one carbon and two oxygens. Water is always two hydrogens and one oxygen. This is a type of sugar with six carbons, 12 hydrogens, and two oxygens. Uh, we've also got sulfuric acid, so two hydrogens, a sulfur, and four oxygens. Sodium chloride is one each of sodium and chlorine. So these are all examples of compounds, and you can see that these are more complex forms of matter than the elements are by themselves. So that is it for today on Biology Professor. I hope you learned a lot about elements and compounds, and thanks for watching.